So let's talk about the MLB's future game, uh, and that's on July 16th. So it's next Saturday, and uh, the A's will have two representatives. One of them, no surprise to us, too, and that is Shea Langoliers. He has been hitting home runs in Las Vegas like they're going out of style. But what's maybe not talked about, too, he's also a very good defensive catcher. You know what? Um, that's what they've said. They've said that he, he does have very, very good good defensive skills. But the, still, the report is still that the bat is still yeah. slightly ahead of, yeah. of, of his catching. And But, uh, you know, playing in that Futures game, a lot of guys that play in that Futures game, you, you see him the very next year playing in the big league. So we can expect that we're going to see this guy here in Oakland at some point pretty soon. 14 homers in his 68 games for Langoliers. How about Denzel Clark? This is a player that's not on a lot of radars. He's in single A, uh, but he's a versatile player. Center field, maybe corner outfielder. What did Shooty tell you about Denzel Clark? Oh, man, he said that this guy punches all the boxes. Huh. He's got all the tools. He said that this guy is body beautiful, his exact words. Body beautiful. But, but he said that this guy has an opportunity to play the game at a high level. He really likes the way this kid plays. I always kind of like the sleeper names and faces out there. And then all of a sudden, watch, he's in single A now. Next thing you know, be in triple A with Langoliers. And uh, Jermaine Dye was the comp that I've heard. Yes. And, and yeah, you, that, you give that's that slightly encouraging at the least. Oh, yeah, he's a big, tall, yeah. rangy kid. You, you, give him that, you give him that comp, and that's a great comp. You're right.